Okay, good afternoon guys. Um, welcome to another segment of Funko Boys unboxing video. For this week, we actually have this whole pile of orders that we actually accumulated, um, I think was in February and some part of January. The US orders took some time to come in, um, but nonetheless, we are still here. Douglas still has a huge pile of pops that he needs to catch up on, so yep, let's begin. Okay, this one was actually from eBay. Okay, so packaging was done very nicely. And there's actually a small note over here. <laughs> it tells me, thank you. Uh, appreciate your business and um, please leave a feedback for him on eBay. Packaging is great, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave him a feedback later. Some of you guys might be able to tell through the packaging what this is already. This is the Hot Topic exclusive Blue Venom. This was the second one that I've actually got. The first one I actually sold off to another collector. I was looking for this. Box condition looks... Yeah, everything looks good. But just a word of caution, there's actually a lot of fake on eBay. So please check your buyer listing before you actually proceed. Next one we have, a Funko Box order. Recent Funko Box, um, Funko Pop Shop haven't been great with their releases. A lot of them are still left unsold and they're actually transferred to the main shop. So here's a little tip. Um, if you are trying to buy from Funko Shop, the shipping for each order is like 7 USD. What I would suggest for you to do, if you're not in a hurry and you're pretty sure that the item will sell, is to basically just wait for a while. They usually appear back in terms of the main shop. This is Colonel Sanders. With the cane. Oh no, there are some box damages to this. Okay, you can see over here. There's some box damages to the edges. Aside from that, there's actually some crease over here as well. It's from Funko Shop as well. They changed the packaging. There's a Funko wording over here. Again, very good packing. And this is a duplicate Colonel Sanders with cane. This one, the condition is much better than the first one. Next up, this is definitely not from Coco Shop. But let's see what this is. Guys, please give us some feedback and comments with regards to our filming format. Douglas was telling me to put this more in landscape form. Packing is great. Bubble wrap and sorter box. Oh! Yes! This is a 2017 thing, it's a spring convention. Captain America First Avenger. This is one of my favorite pop for the year um, in terms of the molding and the details. There's actually a lot of fake for this on eBay as well, so please purchase with caution. If you like our viewer segment with regards to the real or fake one, I can probably do another segment for this one to basically tell you guys what to look up for. Just let us know. Thanks one, Funko Shop order. Again, very well packed. Funko. Ooh. Description says blue and purple Mickey. Very nice. Box condition is great for this one. I believe um, this week they released the last of the color wave. I have that order as well. Like I mentioned, if you are trying to buy things from pop-up shop, chances are the shipping are at about 7 USD each. But if you actually wait till they basically move the pop to the main Funko shop, um, you can actually order multiples. And yeah, that's what I did. Basically, um, Douglas and I, we are both collectors. So we maintain our own staff, we don't share our collection. We ordered, I think, four pieces for this week's colorway. And that completes the whole series. If you like, um, I believe they still have quite a few exclusive moves to the main shop. So if you're looking for like Glitter, Light Fury, they have that there. If you're looking for Mickey, they have that there as well. A couple of others, I'm not too sure. Yep, but uh, you were definitely safe in terms of shipping. So shop wisely, yeah. 
next one. This is a target box, target tape, but target do not accept forwarding address, so this is definitely not directly from target. But this is packed very very well as well. You can see the bubble wrap. Sorta says Colonel Sanders with Kane again. Oh, this is from my friend John Leslie. I won this package through Facebook auction. So we have Captain Mamo Chase. Leslie always packs his pop. Way, way better than Funko Shop does. He does a phenomenal job for packing, and yeah, the pops usually arrives safe and sound. We have the Walmart exclusive Captain Marvel here as well. Another glow in the dark. Interestingly, this one is actually available in Simply Toys with the Walmart sticker. I've been seeing them bring in some pops that are with the exclusive stickers and not the silver color in IE exclusive that we actually have and this one we don't have it in Singapore this is Goose the Flock Goose another Fox Lunch exclusive Goose actually has a small tag around the neck that says Goose over here so it's actually pretty cute okay this is another package from John Leslie as well it was actually through a Facebook auction group, so John was putting up his um, Captain Marvel set for an auction and I think I won all this for slightly over 60 USD Shipping is about 15 to 20 USD um, Not inclusive of the V-Post charges that they actually, they actually have to pay to get this guys to Singapore Okay, this is the unmasked Captain Marvel, Hot Topic exclusive. So the reason why I bid on this lot was actually um, if I were to buy them through Simply Toys, each one of them will cost me $23.90 as a member. But um, it comes without this stickers mostly. I actually forgot what was in the lot, but I'm happy with what I got over here. I think the last one might be the non flop goose. Oh no, this is verse. GameStop exclusive. The paint job for this is very very nice. And box condition is perfect as usual. Next box. Okay, sure. This one came with a big big dent over here. Hopefully the contents made this great. And this is another. Hello Sanders with Kane. Oh, this one came with a big crease over here. Big fat crease. Not too sure whether can you guys see it. Yep. Should you guys see it? Okay. And another Funko order. Okay, this is another one on the Mickey. The same one as the one that we got earlier. The blue and purple. Mickey. I think I have all seven, but they're just incoming. This is a large box from Pop Culture. Some pre orders that uh, our friends requested for arrived. First up, we have Lavi Xenomorph. Okay, uh, slight dent over here, but I think we can leave with it. Glow in the Dark Genie. Again, this comes with a button sticker that is supposed to come with. Genie. Box is okay. Next up, we have Captain Crunch with Sword. You can see from the back of the case. Difference with the. Was it the Target one? Huh? Yep, the Target one was with the Zero Ball. This one comes with the Sword. So this is common. Last one we are Todoroki. This is the common one. Box condition is okay. I was thinking of actually doing some customization works for this to see whether can I do some glow in the dark paint 
to jazz up the thing and they've actually included in the replacement boxes that I requested for for show touch and Super Saiyan 3 Goku so that's what that's what pop culture usually do so if you actually say that um, let's say for the alien the xenomorph I write into them and tell them that hey I've got some damage to my box and I'd like to request for a replacement box they will basically ask you for some proof in terms of photograph, in terms of your invoice then once they actually get the information that they require they'll say that hey I have boxes or I'll send it with the mix order or if they don't have any boxes they'll say sorry we don't have any boxes for your damaged one but we will give you vouchers to offset for your next purchase aside from emailing them you can basically try to give them a courtesy call to follow up with your emails because they are recently swamped with orders it might take some time for them to get back to you but nonetheless I'm pretty sure they will get back to you as you can see from replacement boxes over here okay let's open up the next box which is the last one and this is something that I'm most excited about Okay, you see a huge box over here. Okay. Oh, have you guys heard? Um, basically, Funko, they are releasing a new app for you to curate all your collection. They actually bought over Stash Feeder. And Stash Feeder hasn't been the best app for you to track your pop collection recently. I'm sure a lot of collectors will agree. Ooh, I see them. And they are all individually wrapped. I'm going to show you guys what's in there later. Okay, this purchase was actually made um, from Facebook group. Again, like Ryan basically shared, there's actually a lot of information that you can actually get from Facebook group. A lot of collectors trying to um, sell off their pops that they are not actually collecting that much or rather not that fond of anymore. You can always reach out to them and try and look for older pops that you're actually missing in your collection or you didn't manage to get in time so this one is part one of seven of the big bang theory first up we have raj kutapali this is a vaulted pop so prices slightly on the high side um, i think they were averaging around 40 50 60 usd each when i actually purchased the whole set um the buyer was pretty nice he actually gave me a bundle deal averages up to slightly lower than pop price pack or stash so always try to find out um, what's available on facebook group don't be in a rush to purchase oh you can you can rush to purchase if you are feeling rich and you really need a pop but i think for myself collecting is something that i enjoy and i like the hunt as opposed to basically just buying it offright i mean i can basically go ebay and just purchase offright and pay a premium but that that wouldn't be as fun yeah it's actually more fun to actually look for them individually what's up we have Bernadette Howard's wife box condition like the seller advertised is great except for some slight dents and things as expected for older pops but I'm okay with it Bernadette has a very sharp voice on the series and for those who actually watch the series basically might find some strange uh, resemblance between Bernadette's voice or rather and Howard's mom's voice Apparently I think they are voiced by the same actress So yeah, this is Bernadette Thanks up! We have on the main cast as well This is Leonard Hofstetter Sheldon's roommate okay, Leonard is always like um, the one that's very accommodating to Sheldon's peeves Sheldon basically has a lot of uh, comments with regards to anything that Leonard says Oh dear Leonard came damaged and it's a bad 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 crease over here that runs all the way to the side can't see it through the protector oh. but if I put it in the protector and put it in front like this you guys can't tell anyway um, Wave 2 for Big Bang Theory is slated to be released this year they're gonna have Stewart as well Stewart is the guy who owns the comic shop that this guy always goes to next up we have Sharon Cooper let me just check this out the protector. Check this 
so it's good for the top corner. So just set it down. Next one we have Howard Wolowitz. Box condition is much better. Howard is the only one in the whole group without a doctor. When they are greeted by fellow academics, they will say like uh, Dr. Halfstadter, Dr. Kriptopali, Dr. Uh, Cooper, and Mr. Wolowitz. We have Dr. Amy Fairfowler. This is Sheldon's girlfriend. She's actually a Con exclusive SDCC 2013 limited edition with 1,008 pieces. I think it's the shoes that's different. The normal one comes with a yellow shoe, um, but she's wearing a brown shoe. She and Sheldon have a very interesting relationship. Uh, Sheldon was saying it's been three years. They have only progressed to holding hands and probably a kiss, nothing physical. Sheldon has a very different view or perception towards relationship. So that's a very interesting series. If you haven't watched any of the episodes, I highly encourage you guys to try. Very interesting, geeky series. And last one, we have Penny, who works in the Cheesecake Factory. Most of all these pops are actually bolted and they're a little bit pricey. If you can, try to look for someone who's trying to clear the collection. We are quite lucky to basically be able to locate the full set. And although some of the boxes were damaged, but hey, I think I'm okay with it. So this is some of the pops that we actually unboxed for this time. Amongst these, I'll say probably my favorite would be the Big Bang Theory set. This guy's because I really enjoy the show. And of course, we have the Chase Captain Marvel over here. That's pretty nice and Mickey Mouse, Candy Floss. So, that's my unboxing video for this month. And I think you've been seeing me quite a lot. But Douglas is behind the scenes doing a lot of editing for all the videos that I've been actually filming. Next one, I think should be his, uh, hopefully. But nonetheless, do follow us on Instagram, Facebook, um, share with your friends if you have fellow collectors who basically like pops like us. And um, yeah, we actually do have a list of um, pops that we listed on Pop Price Guide. We have actually transferred everything from Stash to Pop Price Guide. So if you're interested in any of the items over there, do let us know. Uh, yeah, we will basically touch base again. Up to then, see you guys.